The XADV has broken new ground with its unique mix of adventure bike ability and big scooter usefulness and practicality. Its rich specification includes throttle by wire management, for default riding modes and three-level Honda selectable torque control. The 22 liter seat storage compartment includes a USB-C charger while a glove box adds further convenience. Twin LED headlights feature daytime running lights and a 5-inch TFT display allows smartphone connectivity via the Honda smartphone voice control system. The parallel twin-cylinder engine blends strong low to mid-range performance with easy manners and excellent fuel efficiency. Peak power is set at 43.1 kW with an impressive 69 Nm torque. Throttle by wire TBW, serves four default rider modes plus a custom user choice, while Honda Selectable Torque Control HSTC, features refined input over three levels. The Dual Clutch Transmission DCT, has automatic shifting schedules that integrate with the riding modes, as well as user input. A tough chassis is comprised of a tubular steel frame, 41mm front forks, rear monoshock, with ProLink, and aluminium swing arm. A 17-inch front wheel is matched to a 15-inch rear with dual, radial mount 4-piston calipers breaking up front. The design of the XADV's liquid-cooled, SOHC 8-valve parallel twin-cylinder engine ensures punchy performance in the low to mid-range. Its relatively long-stroke architecture and specially shaped combustion chambers combine with the high-inertial mass crankshaft to produce large amounts of effortless torque from very low RPM. A forward cant brings the center of gravity down for optimum stability. Peak power is set at 43.1 kW at 6,750 RPM, with maximum torque of 69 Nm at 4,750 RPM. From 30 km per hour the XADV will cover 20 meters in 1.7 seconds, 50 meters in 3.2 seconds, while at 60 km per hour the torquey engine is turning at just 2500 rpm, for A2 license holders a 35 kW version is available, which can be easily converted to the full power version by a Honda dealer at the appropriate time. Equally, it is possible to restrict the full power version to 35 kW by a Honda dealer remapping the ECU.